Hi all and welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about slow performance and on Wi-Fi and on the iPad in general and I will give you some tips and tricks on how to look at these. There can be a lot of different things that is causing the slow performance. One of them is of course your Wi-Fi. So let's start with the Wi-Fi. You of course have to check your Wi-Fi and I'm using uh, Google Wi-Fi in uh, in my home and uh, I go into my internet connection and you can of course have a look at the stats on how good are your network performing. Please always do a restart if you are experiencing low performance on the Wi-Fi. Just uh, plug out the ca uh, power cable on your Wi-Fi modem and put it in again so it will restart. That's always a good idea. Sometimes it can be stuck. And as you can see on my Wi-Fi, I'm doing quite well on the performance and I'm not experiencing any issues at the moment. But sometimes I need to restart my Wi-Fi as well. So have a look at your stats on your modem. If you have a web browser or an app as this one I have for my Google Wi-Fi, then have a look at your modem and your Wi-Fi settings. Also have a look at what kind of network you are able to have. You can have a 2.4 gigahertz or you can have 5 gigahertz. The 5 gigahertz is a bit better and it is not having so much lag as other ones. Let's go into settings and also have a look at your Wi-Fi settings in here. Go into the Wi-Fi settings and as you can see I have my connected and if I go into my Wi-Fi settings for my uh, network. I have a lot of different uh, settings that I can have a look at. One of them is the configure DNS, which is this one. And uh, as you can see, I have a local one that I use. And then I have also put in the Google DNS. And that is a good tip if you are lacking on your performance for your Wi-Fi and or just the internet in general, you can add a uh, manual DNS address, just go in here and put in whatever. And the one for Google is 8. Point, oops, at not that one, point eight, point eight, point eight, And that's the one I've already put in, so I don't need to do it again. But uh, have a look at that, uh, put it in if you uh, are having issues. Uh, and uh, that is actually a good fix for a lot of network issues and especially having slow performance on your internet. So that is always a good idea to have a look at. The next thing, if you are using the Safari browser, I would recommend you to uh, try and clear your browser history. And uh, if you go down a bit, here you have the clear history and website data. Press that one and it will uh, ask you if you want to clear it. It will of course delete all your saved uh, hyperlinks and all that in your browser, but uh, this can actually uh, do a quite well uh, performance uh, uh, enhancement uh, if you clear your browser. Sometimes you have used your Safari browser for a long time and uh, that is sometimes an issue because it will be cluttering up with a lot of different data from the different websites that you have been visiting. So uh, that's always a good idea. So uh, performance in general on an iPad can be caused by a lot of things. But uh, one of the things that I always uh, tell people to look at is your iPad storage. How much have you used of your iPad storage? As you can see, I'm actually at the limit for my one. So you need to have a bit of uh, free space to have good performance because not only the memory on your iPad, but also the storage says uh, something about how good performance you have. So you need to have at least four to five giga hertz, uh, gigabytes of free data on your iPad just to make sure that you have some uh, extra space. And that is actually a thing that can uh, downgrade your performance on your iPad. So have a look at it. You will probably have a lot of different apps down here 
that you can get rid of that you have not been used uh, using for a long time. So uh, please have a, a look at your iPad storage. At least I need to go through my one because I can see I have a lot of different things that I need to get rid of. So that is always a good idea to have a look at that. Then uh, it is always a good idea also to have uh, a look at your location service, how many uh, apps are allowed to use that one in the background. That is something that uh, can be a good idea to have a look at. Uh, if it's using a lot of uh, time in the background, then uh, you can also have a, have a look at that. So uh, in general, have a look at your apps because a lot of them can also be running in the background. And uh, if they are doing that, that can be causing uh, some uh, drowning of your performance. Uh, so uh, have a look at your apps in general and how they are performing. If they are allowed to run in the background, which they need to ask for, uh, then uh, you can have a look at that. You can find the running in the background in general, and here you have it, background app refresh. And here you can see if the uh, different apps are allowed to run in the background. So uh, if all the apps are running that uh, you can see on the list here, I have disabled my one just to get rid of all that uh, uh, performance drawing things in the background. So have a look at it and uh, make sure that uh, you can either turn it off for all of them. And as you can see, you can turn it off for each of the apps. So uh, I normally say try to turn it all off. I know that some apps that you use as your iPad needs to have that. And then you of course have to look at each of the apps and see if that is an issue that you can take out of the equation. So uh, have a look at the background running apps. So uh, just a uh, small thing that, that I also uh, just heard the other day is that uh, how your brightness on your iPad is uh, set up. Uh, and if you go into general and in here you can also just maybe an easy way to have you look at the brightness is to go here up and down. Um, so uh, that's a, a thing that you can also, if you are at the highest level of the brightness, then you can uh, maybe lower it a bit uh, and just have a uh, look at that. Uh, that can also causing a lot of at least for the battery, it can draw the, the battery quite well. And that can be a performance issue because when your battery is getting low, then the performance of your iPad is also getting worse. So have, have a look at the how much brightness you have set on your iPad uh, because it can uh, take some uh, resources out of your iPad as well. So I guess uh, that's it uh, for today. If you have any questions, just give me a comment on my video or give me a thumbs up if you like what I just told you. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you really like my uh, ideas and my videos, give a subscription to my channel. Uh, that is a good thing for, for my channel to get out to more viewers. So uh, thanks for that and uh, have a good day.